Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome CFO of Smava, Sebastian Bilski. Hi. So I'm actually not allowed to talk about what Racklet is doing, which makes my job really, really hard. But um, I was asked to talk a little bit about my experience with working with Racklet. So um, I actually only got to know Gunnan, who will present Racklet, about four months ago when he reached out to me. And I met with them, and I was immediately impressed by the, by the team, actually. They were not just really, really nice people, but they also had an incredibly detailed understanding of the customers they were working with. And that is something that, personally, I find really, really exceptional, actually, because it's fundamentally actually rare in my experience. There's a lot of startups who target markets and they don't really understand them. So Racklet really knows a shit about their customers. Really cool. They have a really slick program, so I hope you'll actually show it, because that was really impressive for me, and I'm not a product guy. Um, they had international ambitions and actually rolled out internationally from day one. So it's a Turkish company, but they have um, customers in the US, in Singapore, in France. Very, very impressive and they have a cool focus on smart automation. Um, things we discussed actually, and again, I'm not a product guy, was around scaling. So we had a long discussion around, is this going to be a small company or can this actually be a very, very big company? And we thought about what are the things that they need to implement over the next couple of years to make this a big company. And one of the things we talked a lot about was sales. So what is a cost-efficient way for them to scale sales and actually acquire customer? Because customers love their business and their idea and their product, but how do you actually get to them fast and cost-efficiently? And one other thing we talked a lot about is pricing. And one thing I found really great to see over the last four months is what kind of traction the business has actually generated. So when I met them, I think they had like 25 customers or something like that altogether. In the last month alone, they have acquired another 200. So the business is actually growing exponentially at the moment, and I think there's a great future for that product, for the business, and for Gönnen. So please, Gönnen, rock the world. Hello. So my name is Gönnen. I'm an assistant professor in computer science. Our story started over here at Galatasaray University in Istanbul. This is the best university in Istanbul, and it has a 500 years old history. <laughs> I was elected as the president of the alumni club. I was very proud. It was like a big achievement for me. Then I got an email from the secretary sending me this, an Excel file containing 6,000 member data, all messed up. I said, OK, I mean, there's a way to do this today. So the next day, I said, from this Excel file, I imported it to the Facebook group. I started inviting people, sending the first message, people reacted, I was very happy. But I also needed work information of these guys. So I created a LinkedIn group next to it. It was good, then it was time to send the first email. So Google Apps, MailChimp, the next month it was time for the first event, so I created an Eventbrite account next to it. It was good, donation campaigns, so PayPal buttons, Indiegogo, then I ended up like hundreds of paper receipts that I had to enter myself manually to the computer. So at the end, we started using like zero accounting software, Salesforce. It became so messed, I had to hire someone to manage all this. <laughs> I, I failed. After one year, I really failed. I said to myself, Gunan, you have two PhD in computer science. Man, you can do something for this, no? <laughs> so the next day, I sat on my computer, I did the best thing I do, like coding. So I created a user database, very simple. For me, the challenge was how to engage members, make them contribute to the society and pay. I found out that in the emails that we were sending, there was high open rates. So I started inserting like integrated payment buttons and link to their profiles. Next thing I did is to create a private social network for the community. So people were coming in, updating their profiles and start paying. So I did on top of it more payment options. So ticket sales, donation campaigns, recurring payments. It was a big success. In one year, we increased the revenues of the association by 460%. People noticed that. They started calling me. They said, Gönan, 
Can we also use your platform for our association? For sure. <laughs> so today, I looked at the market size and there was 1.3 million associations in the United States looking for solutions. And they collect $340 billion today with the old tools from 10 years ago. Today, I'm very proud to present you Raclet, a new platform for organization to engage their members, to communicate with them, and to increase their revenue. These guys, one of our customers, Classical Automobile Club of Istanbul, they switched to our platform. After sending their first email, they collected $2,500 only in 15 minutes because they were using wire transfer and other methods before, so it was not working. And growth. We are growth guys. When we came to this accelerator, we had only 22 clients that we were selling B2B. It allowed us to learn a lot and switch to online. Right now, we are growing 200% month over month on new accounts. And we reach actually more than 600 today. And end of this year, we will reach 5,000 organizations around the world. It's, the recipe is quite simple. I'm the backend guy, and I have my co-founder over there who's the product guy. He has 10 years experience in building startups, and he was the first one creating the fundraising platform in Turkey. So our talented match, and we created this beautiful product. And I have one good news. We just closed last week our seed fund from Techstars. So if you want to talk for the next step, we will be there after the talks. And thank you.